beautiful, beautiful people. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. How are you doing? I hope everyone's doing great. So I want to experiment and do a couple of things, different designs using some chrome powders and some stuff that I bought because I'm in the mood of figuring out what I want my Christmas nails to be. And I don't want like a in-your-face Christmas nail design because I don't like that for my nails in particular. Like I don't like Santa Claus on my nails. I don't like Christmas trees on my nails. I just don't like it <laughs> for me personally. I like subtle Christmas designs that are not so in your face. You know what I mean? So I had this idea in my head and I've had it for a while now and I want to start making it to see if I actually like it because sometimes when you have an idea in your head it doesn't necessarily turn out great <laughs> at least that has happened to me in the past so sometimes I do get great ideas and when I actually do them they're awesome but that's not the case all the time so I want to see how this looks and how I could do it with different colors to see if I like it because if I do like it then those are gonna be my next nails so let me show you what I got first I went again and got a couple of things that I needed from the same store that I did the haul the Black Friday haul and I saw these in red which I think these are the flowers that you could use all year long it doesn't necessarily have to be for Christmas but they're red and gold which is perfect for Christmas as well so I think I'm gonna be using this one for the design and then from the chrome powders, I'm not sure which color I'm going to use. I'm, I have a couple here. I have a gold one. Then I have the one that's kind of clear. It makes it more like iridescent. Whatever color you put underneath. This is the one that the color underneath, you could actually see it as well. Now with this one, this one covers up the, the color underneath. So probably one of these two but I'm not sure which one and then I had to get more of these because I'm expecting a package in the mail soon with some gel polishes that I bought some new ones and they have a whole bunch of glitters and I was running low on these so I bought a new pack it's right here and then let's see what else I was running low on this, which is the top coat, which is, this is the one that's no white top coat, which is the one that you use for the chrome powders, because you can't use the one that you have to clean because it's the, the effect is not going to be the same, so it has to be a no white top coat, and I love this one by me a secret, so I was running low on this because, again, I bought a bottle recently, <laughs> and it finished so quickly because everybody's wanting the chromes. And this is the one that I have to use so I got another one of those and I also saw these flowers these are different from the other ones look how cute these are glitter flowers I don't know if you can tell on camera but they're they have glitter and it actually has a rhinestone instead of a bead inside in the middle which I think is so freaking beautiful this was the only pack there if they would have had more, I would have bought more because I know I could get a lot of use of this one, especially now on December because they're red and they're glitter. These are perfect for that. But this was the last pack, so I have to keep my eye out and see if they bring more. Okay, so like I said, I don't know if I want them to be gold or this color, which I could change the background of it. I'm going to start with this one because I've been trying to find one of these in red and I can't find it anywhere <laughs> they don't have it anywhere and I'm still looking for it because that would have been great but what I'm gonna do is take one of these add a red polish a gel polish that's red and then put this one on top and see how I like it and I'm gonna do another one with just a neutral color underneath and then I'm gonna do this one in gold Okay, so for the red, I'm going to be using Madame Glam. This one's in shade The Strip. This is a gorgeous dark red. I love that one. And then for just a neutral color, I'm going to use this one, which is called Soft Pink. It's very, very natural.
gonna go ahead and cure this in the lamp for 30 seconds okay so I already did the second coat now I'm gonna add the top coat to all of them cure it in the lamp for a minute and then I'll be back for the chrome powders Okay, they're fully cured. I remember I got this one on Timu a while back. And this one I really cannot remember. It says Born Pretty, but I know I got it from a different site. I can't remember where. So let me open it up. Let me start with, let me start with the neutrals first. And I'm going to use this one first. I like using my finger for this. Or you could use a little applicator. So I was debating if I want a base like this for my nails. Or I want this color on top of red. That's what I'm debating. But I just love this powder. So that's how it looked on a natural base. And now let me show you on top of red. Because I still haven't done this color on top of red. So I'm very curious. Oh, it turns gold. Are you effing kidding me? <laughs> I really thought you could see the red underneath. That is crazy. I did not expect that at all. So I definitely don't have the one of these in red, which I've been trying to get my hands on and I can't because it's nowhere to be found. And if I order something online, it's gonna get here really late. But that is so deceiving. I thought it was gonna turn like a pearlescent red or metallic red this is crazy it just turned gold okay so i don't know i don't know what to do okay wait let me check then this one with that gold and see because i know this one's a darker gold i've used that one before I mean, not a darker gold, it's more like a yellow gold. Okay, so let me show you all of them now. What do you think? I don't know what to do. See, I, I see now I don't know what to do. Because <laughs> I was expecting this one to be completely different. And it turned out to be really gold on top of red. And then these two look almost the same, but I'm still liking this one, I guess. Or maybe this one. Let me do the design. I think I'm going to do the design on all three to see which one I prefer. I'll be back. All right, I already put the top coat on all of them and they're fully cured. And then look at this one, the way it turned out after I put the top coat. It became like a copper color still looking more on the gold side but more coppery i guess but so far the one that's nude with this one is my favorite then this one's the gold one and then this is the same powder as this one on top of red which i'm completely surprised so the paints that I want to use for this are going to be white, these are gel paints, red, and green. Because I'm still debating which color I actually want, depending on how these turned out. But the red that I wanted didn't turn out like, <laughs> like I wanted. So let's see. Let me open this up. I'm going to be using this brush that I bought recently in my Black Friday haul. 
this is the number two and i've already used these and i kind of like them okay so i think what i'm gonna do is do maybe the red one here and then the green one here and then the white one here i think that'll be best okay i'm starting with red so let's see how this turns out this is why i like first correct not practicing well yeah practicing you could call it practicing or experimenting first trying out everything because you never know how the outcome is gonna be or which way you prefer so i'm just gonna start doing like a french type of thing and i like doing this line first because i want it to be centered from one side to the other and by the way this nail is way longer than what I'm gonna do on mines but it's just an idea As you can see, I'm not talking during this process because I'm not even breathing <laughs> at this point. <laughs> and I'm going to go over this when I fix it in a while. Let me just get all the lines where I want them. something like this I'm gonna go ahead and pop it in the lamp for about a minute and a half actually I think this one I'm gonna do it differently let's see although this way that I have in mind I think it's gonna be more more Christmassy Go ahead and fill this in and then I'm just going to do some details with white. Okay, for this one, I'm also going to add some white, but thinner. For this one, I'm also going to add another type of gold. And I'm running low, like I'm almost done with this color. 
And I keep forgetting to try to find another one. I think this is a great design for you to practice your line work because you have to be very precise with it and go with a lot of lines so if you're struggling with that try making a design like this over and over and over again until you get the hang of it that's what I used to do if I was struggling with something I would do it over and over and over again I'm gonna go ahead and cure that for a minute and I'll be back okay I'm back so for this one I want to do the little you know the green leaves it's two green leaves with like three little cherries or something cranberries on in the middle you'll see what I'm talking about and I'm gonna paint it with the green that I have here what I'm gonna do first is do the little red dots first so I know exactly where the center is gonna be While that is curing, I'm going to go ahead and finish this one off. And this one, I wanted to use either these or these. And I'm debating which one I want. Let me show you this one so you can really see the glitter that I'm talking about. So, ooh. And these are all the same sizes. This one brings different sizes. Maybe now you can see it there, you can see it better. Look how beautiful. I mean that's just stunning so for this one I could put it there somewhere here it has to be with acrylic and then maybe add some leaves or I could do this one and add a couple of them which I think that's what I'm going to do, but the center one, the big one, I want it to be this one. So I'm going to be using both. Let me take them out of the package. Okay, I'm going to use clear acrylic to adhere the flowers. You can use any clear acrylic. There's that one, but see this one to me is too Christmassy, <laughs> at least for me. I mean I like it, it's very beautiful, I love that one especially, but this is too much for me. I like more simple than this. What I'm going to do with this one as well is just add the gold in there. Okay, so back with this one. I'm going to do the leaves now.
let me go ahead and cure that. Okay, so I finished all of them. This is the last one I was working on. I added the little swirly lines and the flower in the middle. And then I have this one, which was, I think this is my favorite one. I think this is the one that I like out of all of them because it's like the most, I guess, more simple than all of them. And then this one, you gotta let me know which one you prefer. I'm still debating which one I would want on myself. Which one's your favorite? This is how it would look on the nail. Okay, this would be number one. Number two. Oh yeah, I really like this one. And three. So you gotta let me know which ones you prefer. <laughs> Because I really don't know. I did have fun doing these. And I think it's great for a Christmas design. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, please consider subscribing. I have a lot of viewers that are not subscribed. So please could you just take a quick second. Hit that subscribe button. That helps me out a lot. That helps this channel out a lot. And while you're at it, just click the like button. And if you want, let me know which one's your favorite in the comment section. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and all that. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.